Well, hello there, everyone. It is time once again to discuss a anime that has just finished ending from the summer 2022 season. Today, we're actually discussing a really good one, one that I loved. Honestly, my favorite of the entire season. It is a harem in a fantasy world labyrinth. And there's a couple different ways to, I guess, say the title. Um, a harem in a labyrinth in another world, stuff like that, but... This title is okay. This show... Mm, let's get into it. My overall opinion, my favorite anime this season, hands down, there are so many out there that are just like whatever the season. Um, let, let me actually pull up the anime from this season. And like, there's some pretty generic ones. The ones that honestly I just do not care about at all. Um, some that went really good and then ended poorly. And other ones that I really enjoyed but were not as good as this one. Um, uh, definitely my favorite of all of them. The animation was clean. It was freaking great. The characters looked amazing. The combat was fun. The, the waifus were grade S tier. Just amazing. Um, so good, so, so good. They, they didn't use any of this nasty CG, or at least any that I could pick out that like bothered me a bunch that uh, um, other anime have been known to use that was just disgusting. All the fighting was great, and mmm, love it. Moving on to the stuff that I actually enjoy. The combat was nice, like I had mentioned. Uh, it felt really fluid. When they were, you know, attacking, they were attacking. There was some nice use of, like, angles and, like, dynamic poses and stuff like that. That was, like, just great. They didn't drag anything out unnecessarily long like some shows do when you have an overpowered character. Um, it was just a very simple, bam, he's dead, and let's move on. Very great. Uh, the MC is not a loser. The main character, he was not a freaking idiot. Um... I forgot his name, though. I think mostly because he's just referred to as Master. And uh, that's why I'm having a hard time remembering his name. But he is a pretty generic character, like, look-wise. He's got short black hair. And I think he's got black eyes. He's your, your normal, like, Japanese guy, right? You know. But he isn't, like, a, a naive beta loser who's like oh this girl's clearly hitting on me um i don't know what she's doing so i'm just gonna continue doing my thing even though this girl's clearly like hitting on me and i'm just too stupid to realize that ha 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 tee -hee. no he's like hey girl some nice tits <laughs> like it's it's so nice and refreshing i get it, it's like there's a harem show and whatnot but like Sometimes you'll see harem shows where the main character has a harem, but it's like, does he know? Because while, like, he has a bunch of women around him, they never really get intimate. And the main character never really, like, recognizes them as love interests in most of them. But in this one, the uh, girls are great. What can I say? I love it. And uh, the main character... Fucks them on the regular. Literally just goes to town. Hog wild on them. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, next up, the labyrinths. Uh, they're kind of interesting. I personally uh, like the level of detail in the manga more than the anime, but I understand it's an anime. you got to cut some corners. Uh, the, the, the lighting that they used in the labyrinths was amazing to like illustrate that it's a dark, dingy place. And fighting the like enemies inside of it was, was interesting. The the world building and the interaction with people was neat. It felt like a world because you had you know people interacting, stuff like that's so stupid. But I like how he he goes from basically being in another world and saving some villagers in the first episode uh, to going to a city, learning about you know, slavery there, learning about the labyrinth system, 
going through an ordeal to get the first slave that he's got, Roxanne, and all this other stuff. And it was like, it, he like develops and learns stuff about the world and interacts with the world in a way that you don't see some isekai people doing, where they'll just kind of be like, I don't care about the world, I'm just trying to get home, so I'm not going to learn much about it. Peace. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Also, like the, the, the concept that every person has like this uh, status card in their, I think it's the left hand, that uh, you can like pull out after they die to like see if they're a bandit and whatnot. And if they're a bandit, you can turn it in for like money if they have a bounty on their head. It's, it's just great. I think it's really cool. Um, that's nice. Um, also, now back to the lewd scenes. They were very well done. Um, you know how sometimes you'll have those lewd scenes where it's like the character's naked, but they have like light rays obscuring their their genitals and stuff, and it's just like an awkward, like, why would you do that thing? Um, they didn't have any of those weird light rays. Instead, they just kind of cut the, uh, the frame out where there would be genitals. There's still breasts, a lot of breasts, and stuff like that, but... The stuff that they would normally have had to censor, they just kind of hid out of frame. So it, it didn't have to have any weird light rays and stuff like that. And it was great. It was very nicely done, to be honest. Um, the quality of the animation was exquisite. It's like hentai tier, like good animation, like good hentai tier. You're not like bad hentai tier, like real good. And there's a lot of it, like a lot of it, y'all listen to me. If you watch this show, you have two options. Watch the uncensored version or watch the censored version. Now, I watch the uncensored version because I like tits, okay? I'm not going to lie. I did not watch the censored version, so I don't know what happens during the uh, lewd scenes. But I got to say, if it's anything like what Redo of Healer did, which is a similar-looking art style to what this had, um... They just kind of like panned up to the ceiling, which means you're going to be staring at the ceiling for like four minutes at an episode sometimes. And that's just kind of weird and awkward, right? So I say four minutes an episode, but it's, it's about that, if not longer. Sometimes it's a little shorter, but the last episode I feel was like a lot. Like... I think over half of it was sex scenes, for being honest. Yeah. Not that it was bad, but I did, after like the first scene happened in the like second episode, I forget when it happened exactly, but I just started skipping them because like, it's not like I'm gonna, you know, use them for anything like in meaningful dialogues being discussed in them. But I just kind of skipped through them after being like, yep, that's a nice pair of tits and going on get more of the, uh, the story. Honestly, I wish that they would have cut the sex scenes and uh, just kind of implied them or like cut them down a little bit more so more time could have been spent in the labyrinth or, you know, doing stuff that was not banging each other. But uh, I understand why they included it because it's a big part of the manga and the source material, which is the light novel. But they could have cut some out. Also, Another thing I enjoyed, Roxanne. Roxanne's beautiful. Roxanne, if you're not familiar, is this character here who I dedicated an entire slide to because look at this girl. She's so beautiful. She's cute. Dedicated to her, her master and whatnot. A real good wolf girl. I think she's wolfkin, yeah. But really nice. Very good proportions on her. And uh, they, they really did her justice in the anime. As someone who watched the, uh, or read the manga, excuse me, having her uh, in anime form was just beautiful. And they got a good voice actress for her as well. That was also neat. But yeah, it was all right. She's great. And like, I would buy dozens of figurines of Roxanne uh, if I had the money to correctly, but I do not. But uh, she's great. All the girls were great. So let's move on past. The beautiful Roxanne. And get to the things that I didn't like. Now, at the beginning, they showed the entire 
harem. First of all, that's spoilers. That's messed up, man. Don't do that. Not cool. Only two of them show up this season. If you exclude like a minute at the end of the final season, or final episode. Um, and as a, re as a manga reader, um, I've only seen the first two. The beginning of the manga does not show any of the other harem members. It only shows Roxanne. And then later on, you get the second girl named Sherry. But, uh, yeah. So I just found out about the rest of the, like, I think there's like three other girls. And it was like, oh, well, okay. And there was no real reason to even show them. Like, it didn't have any any reason to point out these these girls in the beginning or at the end for that matter and speaking of at the end at the end there's a minute where they kind of show the rest of the girls uh he he makes a line the, the main character makes a line about i'm gonna buy more slaves and then he like it cuts to him in the slave place buying uh the cat girl woman and then uh, like a very quick panel of them banging and then him buying a, uh, a human lady with red hair who has huge knockers, and they bang, and then he gets given an elf girl, and then they bang, and then um, it ends with like a song over Roxanne looking cute at the camera. That's, that's how it ends. Uh, but yeah, I, I do not know why they included that at the end. Or why they even included any of the other girls to begin with that were not included in this season. Um, I don't know if they were, like, doing that so they, like, can prepare you. Be like, hey, this is a little spoiler of what's next to come in the, uh, in the, in the second season if we get renewed. Or if they were doing it so they would be like, yeah, we're not doing a second season. Here's your, like, one, one and done pump bullshit nonsense, which is garbage. Just utter garbage if they did that. How dare they? They should really get a second season. We'll get out of that in a little bit later. But they also uh, cut a lot of discussion about skills and such, um, which is, it's understandable that they don't go into a huge amount of depth about the skills and classes. But still, I would really like to see more of the discussion about that, about the main character uh, messing around and figuring out stuff about his skills and the class system and everything. Uh, they also didn't go floor by floor in the labyrinth, which also is understandable. Uh, I think they went to the first and second floor and then skipped to like the third? No, no, they didn't skip to the third. Skipped to like the fourth or fifth floor and then had a couple boss fights. But yeah, all in all, they did not really go floor by floor and point out various things. That, uh, and also I felt, like I had mentioned previously, there was a lot of lewd stuff, like, way too much. It felt like every episode almost had the main character banging Roxanne, um, or at least, like, uh, washing her body, or Roxanne washing him with her body. So, uh, yeah, I felt like I could have dialed that stuff back a little bit and included more actual content. That would have been nice. Let's move on to the final thing. Would I recommend this? And should it have a second season? Hell yeah, I'd recommend it. Watch it right now. 10 out of 10, great show. Absolutely enjoyed it. It was like nothing. Nothing would be like, you know, this, this little bit of things I didn't like here. It's, it's, I forced myself to write this. This whole, oh, they showed the hair in the beginning. Quite spoiler thing. I don't even care about that. The uh, cutting discussion about the skills, that's okay. Like I said, it's understandable for an anime. Too much lewd stuff, I'm just complaining to complain at that point. Like, I didn't mind it. I didn't hate it. It's just like, whatever. But moving on. Great show. Uh, it basically requires, like I said, a second season. Because they showed the other girls. Like, they have to at this point. If they don't do more seasons, first of all, how dare they how dare they show the other girls and then not give them further screen time it's rude very rude and they deserve screen time messed up 
You show them for like 10 seconds in the first episode. And then you show them again for like a minute at the end of the final episode for the entire season. Nothing else is mentioned about them or anything. It's messed up, my man. Really messed up. Maybe they did it so that if it did not get renewed for another season, they could at least be like, well, technically they're in the anime, so let's make some goddamn figurines and sell them. You know, which is possible. Uh, or they could even be doing that so that they could make figurines of the girls and be like, hey, see, we're making a lot of merch sales from all these figurines we're selling. Renew us for a second season, wink, wink, you know? I don't know. I don't know how the anime world works when it comes to seasons and renewing and everything because shows that I think should get second seasons don't get second seasons and then shows that shouldn't get second seasons honestly get second seasons and it's like weird and also don't know understand how like some shows get the next season in like less than a year and other shows you have to wait like five years to get a second season like uh, for example Spy Family which is getting its second season next uh, season here in the fall. Um, how the heck did that get a second season that quick when I think it was last season it first premiered, right? Very bizarre that that happens that quickly. And then My Hero Academia, for example, that's one that's getting like six seasons, the sixth season coming out next time. But it's been a while since that one came out with another season, right? It might have just been content. They needed content from like the the author of the original content to be able to do that, but still um, pretty long stretch, right? And also yeah, messed up man, I want more good anime to have like more seasons especially the isekai anime, like I feel like other than Sword Art Online and Overlord and uh, Log Horizon and ReZero we really get snubbed okay, so I just listed off like a bunch there, but listen those are all, like, generic, okay? They're, like, whatever. Overlord's great. I love it. Don't get me wrong. And uh, ReZero, though, is pretty generic. Pretty, like, whatever after the first season, anyway. And then uh, Log Horizon. First, second season, good. Third season was kind of meh, uh, to be honest. But listen. Also, Artifretta also got a second season recently. But listen, Okay. I want more Isekai to have second seasons, like uh, Demon Lord Retry, or um, Run a Blank. Fuck. Uh, 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 Redo of Healer. <laughs> you know, I looked around at the figurines that I own uh, while I was trying to think of Isekai, because I know I have some figurines from Isekai, and I was like, um, Oh, there's Shield Hero. Oh, it just got a second season too. Um, oh, there's uh, Roxy from uh, Jobless Reincarnation. Oh, it, it got a second season too, didn't it? Oh, shit. Um, well, crap. That's all the Isekai ones I got, except for uh, Yue from Artifreta, who also has a second season for her anime. Um, oh, I got Shiro. Or is it Shiro or Shino? I think it's Shiro from uh, No Game No Life. Where's the second season from No Game No Life, huh? Huh? Japan, come on. What are you doing? I know it's got a movie, but seriously, where the fuck is the second season of Real Game of Life? That show was great. It was amazing. I could do an entire video on Real Game of Life, okay? The fact that it got snubbed for a second season, when it has such an original concept, like, instead of fighting wars, you use games to, like, take territory and solve disputes and stuff? Like, oh my god! How amazing is that? That that's what they do. Snubbed. Totally snubbed. Can't believe it. Anyway, I'm gonna end things here because I'm starting to ramble. But uh, all in all, Harem in the Labyrinth, beautiful show. Lovely show. Check it out. Give it some love. So that maybe you can get a second season for it. So I can watch more of Roxanne. Excuse me. More of Roxanne and Sherry and the other girls whose names I do not know. Um, being cute. And fighting monsters. 
and all that. But yeah, until next time, everyone, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.